So yes, Scott Nelson, he killed it this year. He's free safety out of Wisconsin. He showed up day one of his pro day training, running a 4.5540. 10 weeks later, at his pro day, 4.38. His shuttle, he showed up at a 4.2. 10 weeks later, at his pro day, 3.92. Fastest time in the nation this year. And then another athlete you asked about, Grant Morgan, inside linebacker from Arkansas. He showed up with 11 reps on his 225 bench. 10 weeks later, 21 reps at the pro day. I actually get asked this question a lot. How do we get guys so much improvement in such a short amount of time? One, we don't follow trends. We use sound, scientifically proven training methodologies. And number two, we get after it. Morgan. My strength in my upper body improved tremendously. I always had a stronger lower body and it continued to maintain that and grow on that. But my strength in my upper body, um, I lost, I think, 12 pounds. So to be able to lose 12 pounds and your muscles still get bigger and stronger, like it was great for me to be able to be here. So uh, I'd say upper body was the biggest jump. I always knew that I wanted to do combine training. I wanted to focus on combine training because going back to what I was always into college, which was developing my speed, developing my agility to become a better football player. You know, doing that for athletes, preparing them to really just be the ultimate athlete was something that always really interested me. Scott Nelson, Wisconsin. My, my injury was in 2019, so it was, it was, it was a while ago. Um, but just kind of seeing the different imbalances that you have in your body and being able to work on them and different small stuff to help prevent further stuff, further injuries was, was big. I was, I was put on the, the poop meters yeah. and um, they're, they're delicious. Very healthy, very clean, different variety. Yeah, I'm feeling good. Um, I'm excited to also kind of be able to, to show what we've been working on throughout these past eight or so weeks and just, just have some fun. Every scout is looking for that guy that played well in college. He's a solid player, but he just wasn't in the perfect system. And, you know, maybe he had dealt with an injury one year and he was coming back from it. Uh, maybe he had transferred. They're looking for that guy that has all this upside potential, but just, you know, nobody, nobody's really realized it yet. My name is Jordan Young. The area I think I improved the most Definitely probably be my overall strength, especially in the bench press area. I think I've hit at least nine more reps than when I got here. Coop is strictly with the details and the technique and all the little things, and he had a lot of different ways to hit chest and just just the overall different parts of your body that you're going to need for the bench press, and really work the triceps, chest, just shoulders, things like that to be able to build that bar up when you start to get tired. Uh, Darius Hawkins, DD. Central Oklahoma. It's so crazy because like, I felt like I was already fast before I got here. So like, when I learned the mechanics, just the little things, like it literally, like, my speed went up tremendously. Like, yeah. steps, put more force on the ground, just different things like that. He brought some little things a lot, which make me get better overall at the stuff that you wouldn't even think. Like, like my shuttle, when I got here, I was doing a 4-4, four, 4-3. Four, four, I didn't think it was nothing I could do better. But actually, here, I actually fought the 4.0 doing it. And I was like, man, just a little stuff. He tells me, like, right before I go, he like, focus on the inside, lean more. And that's the rep I did. So I feel like the little thing tells me a lot. What's interesting about this is for those last four to five years, they've been preparing for playing college football. Right? That's, been, that's what it's been all about. Now they come here for 12 weeks and we're not preparing them for football anymore. We're preparing for the combine, which is a whole different set of skills, which is the 40 yard sprint, uh, your jumps, you got your vertical jump, your broad jump, which is our me measurement of explosive body, lower body power. You've got your agility test, which is the shuttle, the L drill, the bench press to measure upper body strength. Um, and then you got your field work, all right? Field skills, you know, how do you move in your position drills on the field? Macho, you brought University of Central Oklahoma. 
uh, safety and outside linebacker. I feel like I improved more on my uh, my 225 bench. I mean, like my first day, I was probably benching like eight or nine. I'm probably going to clock at least 19 or 20 on pro day. Roland Walder, outside linebacker, Eastern Kentucky. I came in, you know, running a little slow. And I'm, at, I'm still progressing with my 40. You know, I'm becoming a lot more flexible here, my mobility. That was the biggest issue, I say, coming into this. An another huge adaptation for the college athlete coming to combine training is, is the injuries. So, you know, every, every college athlete's experienced at least one injury. Sometimes they've got, you know, a barrage. We start every athlete with like a detailed assessment with our therapist. We try to figure out, all right, what are what are the dysfunctions? And then putting them on a regimen to, to, to do correctives to make sure that, first of all, we're not going to perpetuate those situations anymore. And then what are the injuries that we really need to address right now that are going to affect our training process? My name is Mike White, grew up in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, I went to Western Kentucky and I currently play quarterback for the New York Jets. When I was in college I had a couple of ankle sprains so my ankle mobility wasn't the greatest on my left side. Uh, I had some rib injuries from this past season and then I had some lower back issues so what I like about Coops is they help you one identify the injury but two modify your workouts accordingly so you're not you're still being able to get some, you're still being able to get work in, but you're not like hindering that at the same time. It's Mike Love here. Um, I'm from Tampa, Florida. Went to high school in the countryside. I uh, went to college at USF. I played defensive end. That's one thing I love about Coop, man. He didn't brought DJ Maurice here, uh, muscle, muscle activation guy, and um, just a rehab guy for everything, knees, ankles, you name it. And, uh, I've been using them and uh, taking advantage of their programs, and so it's like I got a, a three-way stop here. You know, I got Coop, DJ, Maurice, so uh, that's all been helpful for me right now for this all season, and it's been a big reason of my success this all season as for my flexible power and all that. Mitchell Wilcox from University of South Florida in Tampa. I had a lower body injury and a core injury, and you know I feel like from top down, Coop and the staff have created a, a plan for me to be successful and, and come back better than ever. Not just overall strength, my numbers in, in the weight room have gone up on my bench and my squat and, and all that good stuff, but the rotational stuff I can really feel when I'm throwing on the field. I can feel the balls coming out of my hands faster, easier, not as much. I don't have to really get into my throws, it's just kind of natural. And I think that's what we do here. And I think that's what I like about Coop is it's all position specific. This past year, I've run run the fastest I ever have uh, statistically on my own my own accord, and um, I, I feel like my most explosiveness um, when I when I come here and train here for a while, and, and then get back to get back to football and everything. Uh, I'll be coming here for years once I have kids, my kids to come here. So I highly recommend anyone to come here, you know, especially if you want to look good, you know, a little sweaty, but you know, yeah, it's the spot, man. It's the spot to go to.